Hey guys, now I'm gonna make a video about the new iPhone. Actually, it's not called the new iPhone, but it is the new iPhone, and yeah, it's just confusing because Apple said that they were stop, were like gonna stop call their devices names with uh, you know numbers, so you know people can't predict what they're gonna you know release. And now it's called iPhone, iPhone five. Yeah, that's that's the name. It finally came, you know. After 2010, just after iPhone 4, the iPhone 5 rumors start to begin, and now we've been, been waiting a long as time, and finally we have it. So, uh, it's time to go over the full specs, and this is not going to be a comparison between the, um, the iPhone 4S. This is only going to be a quick look here. Okay, so... Yesterday I made some crazy live streams that had over 500 viewers at the same time. So obviously, this must have been one of Apple's most popular events. And um, I think one of those reasons is because they did pick the name iPhone 5. Because people have been bitching about the iPhone 5 long as time. And finally it's here. Okay, so let's go over the full specs here. Um, it got announced yesterday. I was so disappointed after they showed it off, so I just went to sleep. So I didn't do any videos about it. Uh, but it, it is lighter and it is taller. Just as in that iPhone 5, 5 parody rap video, the screen is like four uh, or two, meter, two millimeters taller and it's worth at least $400, you know. So it's also lighter, uh, which feels like they're going from 140 grams to like 112 grams. Isn't that going to um, make it feel cheap? Because now the the even the Galaxy Note, I think even the Galaxy S3 is more more heavier. You know, uh, the display it's of course still that LED IPS display, but they just made the resolution also a little bit higher. So 640. Still, uh, but going to 1136. So they are lowering the PPI a little bit. So it's a four inch display now, a little bit taller, exactly like the same design, uh, you know, on the front. And then they made some changes on the material on the back, like aluminum, and they mixed two materials. Still seems like it's not Gorilla Glass 2, but only Gorilla Glass. It seems like they could have bumped up the RAM, or I think it didn't even the iPhone 4S have one gigabyte of RAM. I'm gonna do a comparison video with that one also, but 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte storage. You can still get more on the Galaxy S3 because you have micro SD support with support up to 64 gigabytes. <sighs> the camera, they should have improved the quality. The, you know, they say that they have some new features in the camera, but still, it's an 8 megapixel one. And they said that they had like, oh, we improved the camera even more and more saturation and more random stuff. That's probably very easy to fake for them. Uh, the operating system, of course, is going to be new iOS 6, which a lot of Apple boys have been hating on. And also, yeah, I think that, you know, they replaced Google Maps with like Apple Maps just because they want to do everything themselves. And I'm pretty sure if that's good, you know, because, you know, they, they really want to have full 100% control, which could be a little bit scary. But you know, I was six. Um, this is also this is one good thing. It's probably the best thing with the new iPhone. And that is that it's having an A6 processor instead of a A5X that um, Apple iPad 30 generation had. But I still don't know if it's quad core. I still don't know if it's quad core. They don't even list the CPU here. It's kind of crazy. But they don't place the CPU, but, um, you know, the big thing is it's a little bit taller, another material on the back, like aluminum, and yeah, it's also thinner and lighter. And I mean, like, I'm really wondering about this, that it's more lighter, like, is that good? Because a lot of Apple fanboys have said that, oh, I like my iPhone, it feels so heavy, it's so nice, and now it will be so light. Oh uh, yeah, but still we have massive display, or not massive, but you know, four inch, that, that must be massive for fanboys. Um, nah. They didn't even say why they made the screen bigger, I'm pretty sure, and uh, I think Steve Jobs has been bitching about this, that 3.5 inch, that's the best size. We can't have any bigger because then I can't reach 
on on the screen with my thumb. But I, I'm pretty sure that you know after Steve Jobs passed away, then they were they were like Tim Cook at Apple. He was way, he was like way finally we can make a bigger screen. Maybe it was Steve Jobs that was stopping Apple. Uh, anyways, there's still a lot of ass people that's gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy it, and I'm gonna try to get my hands on on this product as soon as possible. Like it's gonna come um, the 21st in UK, Germany. Uh, US, like Japan, but I don't live in any of those countries. So if I can, you know, get a person, you know, buy it for me and then like UK and then, you know, send it to me or something, uh, I will easily pay like $200 for that. Um, so you would get that cash. Uh, because I want to get it as quickly as I can because I want to unbox it, I want to try it out, you know, yeah. <laughs> I need to compare it to the Galaxy S3 and do some other random stuff videos. So, yeah, you will be able to pre-order it tomorrow also. I'm also going to do another video like this compared against a few other devices like the Galaxy S3. Hell yeah. Uh, we're going to check out more pictures of it and we're also going to compare it against the earlier iPhone. You know, if, if you're a retard, don't know, you know, the difference here. Uh, I, I'm going to do videos for you, you know. So I'm going to take care of you. Yeah, peace out.